Today on the National Real Estate Cafe, we tell you why Zillow is still not good enough to help you determine the value of your home. Zestimentally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll jump right to the first slide here because here it is. Appraiser and homeowners don't see eye to eye on values. How can that happen, Gino? Well, homeowners are definitely always a little more rosy on the estimate, Don. Or greedy. Oh, there's that too. I was trying <laughs> to be nice. But you the reality are. is that what we see every year, and you'll see this represented in the next chart, is we see growth and when we're seeing growth uh, the basically appraisers need to support to the bank with comparables to show that the home is worth what it's selling for and sometimes when we have periods of growth it's hard for an appraiser to be able to support that yeah so you know most of the experts including us are projecting somewhere around five percent growth again next year nationally some pockets higher some pockets lower we keep it you know explaining the greater that. the rise the greater the gap in that area exactly so there is a, a you know what you may want to sell for doesn't mean we could, the appraiser can pull in the value therefore there may be a gap between what you're trying to sell for and what the borrower can borrow at All right, so, so let's look at what that lap look that gap looks like over the last 12 months all right. Doesn't look like a whole lot. Actually, it looks pretty stable. It's only under two percent, pretty much most of the year. What's that zigzag? Why do we get that little jump right there? Oh, right? that would be spring. Uh -huh. Oh, that's what called demand. That's a gap in demand. When it goes slow down, slow down, and all of a sudden everybody starts buying, that's when the the prices jump because you have so many people trying to get into areas, especially like in California and the Pacific Northwest, where you don't have enough supply. Therefore prices go up rapidly. Well, you know what's interesting is that appraiser scrutiny by lenders has been so tight this cycle that we're actually holding the market down in the spring. We really are. We definitely, if you go to the true definition of value, but of what a buyer's willing to pay for what a seller's willing to sell, yeah. this price, our prices would be at least 10% higher nationwide. But appraisers and lenders are saying, hold on, prices can't rise that quickly. Yeah, if it was only that easy, that's like trading your, your cow for, you know, veg vegetables back in the day. Barter system. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just matters what you feel the value is, but unfortunately it doesn't work that way. So let's go, oh, okay, so you're looking, let's go back to that chart. Okay. 2%, big deal. Yeah, not a big whoop, right? 2%, not a big deal. But right. what's the average sale price of a home in San Jose, Dom? $1 million. Woo, that's a lot of money, 2%. 20 grand. Wow, nobody wants to lose 20 grand. Yes, yeah, so you're going to just say, I'll just lose 20 grand just because the price value is So you can see the dilemma. You know, a $300,000 home, a six grand gap could make a difference. Yeah, so what it means is you should have an absolute professional list your home for two reasons. One is so that you price your home appropriately and your expectations are set appropriately. And two is if you do get a bidding war and you get a great offer above asking and the appraisal is not going to come in at that price, you want to make sure you have the right buyer that can still perform on that particular purchase price. All right, and last slide. This is important because what you don't realize sometimes is every house market has to be sold twice. Not every house, not if it's bought for cash. Well, uh, thank being the smart you. Ass the reality is you have to sell it to the buyer and you have to sell it to the bank. And sometimes the banks, actually almost always, the bank is non-emotional about it and they just want to make sure that their collateral is protected. All right. So, what does this all mean? Bottom line is you need to work with professionals, professional lenders, professional real estate agents that can help you navigate these gaps and these differences and giving you a reality check on what you can really sell it for. And okay, if you can sell it for more, what does that mean for your prospective buyer? I mean, the agent can actually say, does your buyer have the ability to buy this home even if the appraised value doesn't come in? That can actually be thought of up front. One secret tip, if you have a home that's being listed for top dollar and you want the best opportunity to get a great appraisal, work with a local lender. Do not work with a national bank. Work with a local lender. They have great appraisers. The best appraisers in the marketplace go work for local lenders so they can make a good evaluation of your local marketplace. You're heard right here on the National Real Estate Cafe. Get these sent right to your phone. Share with your friends by texting NREC to the number 58885. Find out more at nrecafe.com.